All right, all. Last time I did a few of our portal runs and uh, we used up a little bit of our energy over here. I'm basically going to continue with the fire portal runs and um, unknown shelter fortress. With a sudden jolt, you find yourself somewhere familiar. The smooth walls and gentle lightning remind you of your fortress, and yet it feels different too. There's a gentle humming noise in the background, and your whole bo um, body feels light, almost weightless. Such that the slightest movement propels you into the air. You have an odd feeling that you are not in Maggio any longer. From ahead, you sense something both terrible and wonderful and trepidous fill you every corner. Alright, and something interesting happened. Okay. Seems inactive. There's a glass wall here I can dig through. I probably don't want to dig through it. I assume glass, you know, means something. Uh... As you open the door, you stare amazed at what is beyond a creature stands before you with a long tentacle like appendages and squat bump um, in place of your head. An intense aura of power radiates from you from this being unlike anything you have ever felt. It can only be a shard tool, a living shard tool. But you wonder, it, uh, wonder is cut short as the shard knows you and you feel an intense concentration bear down on the lake and a stopple force. A voice in your head booms. You should not be here. How did you get here? Be gone! A wave of mental and magical power blasts into you with a might of a falling star. You are lifted into the air and intense pressure bears down on every inch of your skin, frightened to crush to you into nothingness. You try to resist for a moment until... A living history. Someone got teleported to, an, um, to an, another, an utter uh, sort of fortress in a very early location where you saw a living shard tool. Was teleported to into Kali's fortress, fire into the void between the stars. You wake up suddenly next to your fire pole with a pounding headache. Your cheeks feel wet, and touching them, uh, the sea's fingers stain red. You have uh, been crying tears of blood. A dark and terrible memory lurks at the back of your mind, but more and try to remember the heart becomes, and slowly it fades completely like a dream. All right, that is interesting. I've never seen that before. So there's our first uh, visit to a living share tool. Look at that massive uh, shield I got from my uh, cloak. All right, that should be good. We'll just heal up a little bit. So there's the first living shard tool that we've ever visited with this character. All right, use the shard to force this party for at least seven times with the same character. All right, well, let's see how uh, my adventures continue. Hopefully we won't have any, like, you know, instance crashing or anything like that, like we did before. Could happen. Might happen. Probably will happen. I'm getting a sense that demons are a, a feature of this, um... ...area, specifically. That's it. Okay, that seems a little bit too small. And I'm gonna explore around a little bit more. Okay, this leads to more guys. Yep, I knew there was more to this level. Got battle call there. Not that mattered much. So, it looks like, um, this is the level where I have to dig through the walls to, uh, get this stuff, perhaps.
To be honest, I'm not really a fan where I have to dig around to try and find extra stuff. I'm not sure there is extra stuff, though. And you know what? I don't really have to explore the entire level, so let's just get out of here. Next level. Uh, since Phil's around you, so that's an attract thing. I actually want to keep this possibly, so we'll have a look at it later. Or maybe now. Yeah, let's keep on a-killing. Ah, uh, um... What am I doing? I suppose we should probably heal this up, or level this up. Get that another point. Yeah, I'm just throwing points everywhere and anywhere at this point. Hello? Pow? This level looks a little bit bigger at least, compared to the last one. Obviously the demons that, you know, that I'm seeing here are our main source of enemies here. Undead are, you know, somewhat uh, prevalent in dragons of course. So that's the theme of this level. Dragons, undead, and demons. Okay, there's more to explore, I know that. I want to go... Maybe this way? Hmm, I figured it'd be something down there, but it wasn't. Hello? I have to stop, you know. Oh, we got ourselves a force giant. That'll be fun. Let's do this, maybe. Yeah, we got a counter strike on me, at least. Let's try. Hey, we to kill them. I killed a force giant in like one shot, so to speak, there. Uh, is there anywhere else to explore, like right there? I know what's screw it. Let's just continue on. Nope, we don't want to go to the previous level. I was going to push my way out of here, right? So, get this out of the way. I doubt there's anything, you know, really useful to explore in these levels, so... Are these guys attacking each other? There are different, uh, alignments. Taking a little bit of damage, let's just heal up a little bit. Do 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 do. Another level to explore after this.
You're dead. Yeah, I don't see any more that I really want to explore. Ah, uh, let's see here. There's something that lets me breathe more if I need it. Let's look at this now. So this basically gives me 43% blindness immunity, confusion immunity 22%, some resistance to light, and it lets me heal when I get hit by dark and I let get track. That's versus this one here, which is just um, light, stealth, track. So that's 20 confusion, 25 blind. This is 22 confusion, 43 blind. I'd say this is probably a whole lot better, so let's just... Uh, Wield this one. Get review. There's my new track. I've got way too much stuff on my uh, bar. At some point, your, your bars are still littered with stuff, you know, after collecting stuff and items and such. If you keep them all. Now she's brandish here. There's just a sun, perhaps. Up a little bit. At least this far pearl is fairly short. Be nice if I got through a whole bunch of quick short far pearls for this let's play. Hey, look at that! We got ourselves uh, orc, Morse, um, orc master assassin boss. That'll be fun. He apparently has um, stalk repel. It looks like he's accursed. That'll be really interesting. Do this. And he stepped right up to the plate. That'll be fun. He's gonna be able to hit me really hard, so let's just do martyrdom to him. Maybe, uh, no, it didn't hit him, but well. We'll try, uh, block him. And then we'll do just a massive assault. Ow, he really damn hit. Okay, I'm not in a specific zone where, um, I can't teleport. I'm actually going to teleport here, I think. So let's just see if I can get away from him. Because he's dangerous, obviously, that boss. Um, blind these guys a little bit. Heal up a little bit. Hit that guy a little bit. I think I missed him there a little bit. Oh, I'm disarmed, that's why I didn't do any damage to him. Um, let's just step over here then. Step back. Now I'm, you know, sort of sandwiched here between two guys, but... I can deal with this. This isn't too bad. And we'll hit that guy if I can with, uh... No, I can't. Okay, we have to do this. There, now he's dead. I have to be really careful of that Orc Master Assassin boss, because he could be cloaked, sadly. At any given time, he could walk up to me and just, you know, do a lot of damage. It's also a curse, so he's, you know, able to rampage. Good news is, is that I think I damaged him quite a bit, so... Hey, 
Hey, our force giant. That'll be fun. Let's go with uh, Counter Strike. Has to kill him. Drop that on him. Okay, wow, I'm taking a lot of damage here from crap. Um, let's drop this on. Heal up a little bit. Do that to him. Let's uh, heal up a little bit. Just kill him. If he wants to beckon me, he can go for it, but it's not like I'm going to be able to get to him at the moment. Alright, good. We got everything except for the boss, so he's all that has to die. It's actually interesting. The boss couldn't get to me. He's actually on the other side of this force, so to speak. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. Let's just try and see if I can teleport over to him. There's the way to the previous level. Sadly, I had this guy over here casting darkness everywhere, so I gotta deal with that. There he is. Alright, so he is at 79% right now. Let's do another block on him. Okay, he's got this. This will crush my... Uh, spell power and mind power, but that's all it does. He's got a counter strike on was just apparently missed with my uh, assault. That sucked. Him with that. There he's down to 50% health. Let's do Irresistible Sun. Stocked. I'm taking increased melee and all that are crap. Um, let's just try and get rid of that, maybe with this right now. We'll get rid of that. Walk again. Um, let's drop Martyrdom on him. I can't seem to get Martyrdom on him, sadly, so that's a bit of a nuisance. Got a couple hits on him, though. He's almost dead, actually. Oh, I got stunned there. That sucks. Uh, wow, everything I've got is pretty much on cooldown at the moment. Um, let's do this. And let's just, you know, take a safety approach and jump away. Safety first. Heal a little bit. I was going to move away, but I'm not directly going to move out of the area here. Longer being stalked. Got most of my shields back. Counter-Strike on him, and he's dead. Alright, we finally got the boss. He's a little bit difficult, but I took him out. Ah, uh, boots with teleport immunity, don't really care about those. That's just, uh, you know, a belt for... What the heck? Don't know. Don't care. Well, another far pearl out of the way. I think we're going to try and get that down to 250, so we'll try and do four more far pearls at least. Do 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 do, just running around. A 
maze of crystals. This is all this is. There's a thunderer. Another belt. There's the way down. Oops, wrong button. Nice background music for this dungeon. Uh, we also got a nice belt. This is arcane, fire, cold, and acid. And also changes my damage a little bit. That's that's an excellent belt, I think. It replaces the physical save and maximum life and all that, but I don't really need maximum life. So that's, uh, that's a good one to replace my belt with. And we continue on. Eventually we do the fart poles and that field get equipment if you need them. We Benefit of being a sun pound, I can heal myself before having to wait for this stupid thing to take forever. They're dead. Wow, this like you know type of dungeon layout is just annoying. Taking forever to get to uh, completion here. Oh, we're going through all of it. I want to run through all of it, not just go to the entrance or the exit. If this is what the old maze was like, I'm glad they changed it so it's a little bit shorter. The ants are dead. They are defeated. Our level completed. Hey, the boss, or unique, rather. Pulverize, smash. Killed it already. I didn't even check it, it's destroyed it. That's how confident I was to kill that polar bear. Of course, now we have portals appearing at our feet every so often because it's a long level to explore all the way through. This guy's cursed. Took a hell of a beating, but oh well.
Kill that fire imp. Well, I think we're done. Another one. Now I should probably check my stats. So right now my defenses are actually fairly decent, except for Arcane. Arcane kind of sucks. Um, most of those stats I think are getting from this though. Yep, we'll go to the exploratory fire pool again. I really don't like this music for a dungeon. Oh well. Looks like we got a fairly quick dungeon, so it's fine. You're out of the way. You know, the nice thing about the far pole is that you get to see the enemies you just no longer see at the earlier parts of the game, in the later part of the game if you do it. It's fun seeing a mold again. And I'm almost done this quick first level. Not much to explore now. And we're done. On to the next level. So apparently my, my proc's lucky foot, I don't have to wear it for it to work. Not that, that really matters. Eh, why not? Boink. There's the way down for when we get to it. Now let's kill the quick do as quickly with that. Like yeah, yeah, you can keep bang on these individual oozes left and right. Power doesn't work too well when you uh you know have to kill everything individually. Only bad thing about like the Berserker type of style that I was going with there. That's convenient. I think one off just in time to kill them all. Alright, another level out of the way. And another, you know. Want bit of loot to go to my uh, stretch of fortress. It's worth knowing, by the way, I'm not up to 11k uh, gold. I'm not lacking for gold. Oh god, look at them all. The vampire, you know, him with such light damage that they all multiplied like crazy. They're all gone. That was annoying. The hordes of Brilus. And 
And they're all dead? Another batch done. Hey, I haven't seen these guys for a while. More of us will heal him or hurt him. And he's out of the way. And they're of the way. That was fun. It's taking my sweet time to run through everything in here. But I have to say, I'm quite happy I got that achievement for, uh, um, you know, visiting the Far Pro uh, place. I'm happy that happened. Shooting River of the Titan. Not strong enough though. And one more level, I guess, before we uh, clear this um, in instance out. This is a quick level for this, you know, crappy music. Hey, a Vampire Lord. Loses out of the way. Kill, kill, kill. Ten percent to the next level, so we level up twice in this level, um, this episode. From Far Pearls. And the annoying music starts once more. Pow, pow. That helped. Really should just use Irvisal Sun every time I see one of those. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves something a little bit different than the um, normal layout of this place for the boss. Wormick, obviously. That's now dead. Almost up to uh, another level. We'll just have to kill these with ours. Maybe a little bit something else. From this one little dungeon. Still 1%. 100%. There we go, that's why it did it. One more point there. I think we'll get this up a little bit now. Just so it's, you know, five of five and out of the way. Three more levels. That's all it will take to uh, hit max level here. Maybe we'll do that before we even get to high peak. That'll be interesting.
That increases my resistance cap, which I don't really need. So, I think there's three more star, or not three, but two more far pulls, unless that. I'm about to get, you know, so much money that I'll go above that. Awesome OSD background music. I think this will be uh, a bit longer too, which is good. Awesome music for an awesome instance. Well, a long instance. Not awesome. Where is the stairs down? Hello, lots of vampires. Right there. Onward. Interesting. Do 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 do. And music restarts once more. All that howling in the background. I think it's obvious what type of monster is uh, accompanying the vampires here. Kill, kill, kill. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. There's two of them. Two vampire lords is not something I want to toy around with. I see two. I'm going to stop and take notice. And instance two is uh, almost uh, cleared. And there we go. And there's our unique ooze mancer. That'll be fun. And he's also cursed of all things. This will be really fun. Okay, let's do this. Heal up. Ow, he really hurts really hard. All right, you know what? We're going to uh, teleport and hopefully, you know, wear him down. That's all what I'll be doing this level. I'll be wearing that guy down.
And there's our friend again. Let's do this. We'll activate this. Let's try blotting him because I can get a free shot on him that way. Drop that on him. He healed up, so that's a little bit of an, uh, a concern. I failed to put that on him, sadly. I'm only dropped him down a little bit, but now I've got all this damn crap on me. Uh, let's just do this. Maybe he'll, uh, you know, try and melee me hopefully a little bit here, so I don't have to worry too much about him. Okay, uh, ow. I took a bit of a beating there. Okay, I'm not really hitting him, so let's just back off it again. Sally, this is a boss that will be able to catch me if I'm not careful. So I may actually be ending our uh, fire pole runs abruptly because I may not be able to beat this guy. Though he didn't heal up this time, so that's good. Let's drop this on him. And he uh, weakened me. Oh, I don't want that on me, but... Yes, I got Maram on him, so let's hopefully, you know, get willed on a little bit then. I got disarmed. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, all, all three of those are physical, sadly. Drop this on him. Let's get rid of it all at once. To block. I don't think I hit him there. And he disarmed me yet again. Hope that failed to get rid of it. That, that did get rivet though, and I got myself a nice little bit of a shield bump there. Let's try and hit him before the counter strike goes away. I think I did though. Block it again. He is not going down without a you know a heavy fight, sadly. I'm in the thick of this trough stuff, so let's just uh, play it safe for now. I practically got everything here on cooldown, so let's want to recharge a little bit. Nothing worse than you know an oozmancer for, I guess, one of these instances. Let's do. This pull him in. And I marred him yet again. Got a counter. It's almost got him. I think he's doing taking more damage from you know hitting himself than anything else though. Finally, got him. Got the core of the force from him. And portals will appear. So that was fun. There's a reason people don't like Goose Masters, and there's a good reason why. They're just, you know, quite powerful. I 
Vampire Lord again. He did a touch of death there on me, but, uh, you know, he didn't last long enough for it to take effect. If the caster dies, it ends prematurely. All right, there we go. So the core of the forge, just a little five willpower item, gets you know, forge bellows and a whole bunch of other stuff. Not something I really need, but you know, worth showing off, I guess, because I, co I collected it. That gives me resistances, and um, you know, I'm wearing this for confusion immunity, but I might actually want to have something like this actually. We're gonna keep that. And I don't think we even lost much money there from doing that uh, exploratory fire pearl. I'm probably gonna be able to end up doing like, you know, an extra fire pearl run just because I'm making so much money from collecting stuff from the fire pearls. Interestingly enough, it looks like I've entered, uh, you know, the Skintling Caves type of thing here with uh, actual Skintling Caves music. I think. That is interesting, he pinned himself. Hello? I'm actually not sure what the uh, background music is supposed to be for. It's interesting though. Fitting for this type of uh, instance. Do, 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 do. Boink. What this type of instance is based on. It looks like the uh, rat type of maze for the, um, the mouse dream. But I'm not sure if that's specifically what's based on this map style. Let's just kill them all quickly. Ah, that's his temple, sadly. Another one of these um, lamps, but a little bit weaker than the current one I've got. Very, very nice music. You know, when it really comes down to it, Magia is just, you know, a character going into a dungeon and clearing it. I don't really need any real objectives sort of pursue. This is just fine to sort of play the game with for me. It's nice to have objectives, but I don't really need them. There'll be one more level after this one, apparently. Maybe another one after that. Mm, 
Killed that dread. And we just want to wander around and maybe I'll be it for this map. Boink. Blast. Too bad it's not, you know, gives arcane. That would actually be a nice thing to pair with the other helmet I got. Do to do. This is actually kind of hurting. This is really hurting, actually. That was not fun. Note to self, don't underest uh, underestimate what the Necromancer can summon. That's one of the things, skeletons don't exactly get weaker as you progress in this game, they're always just strong. I'm going to guess that you're an Arc Mage. Do 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 Um what was turning about the clock? This guy? I didn't realize those guys get turned back to clock and other type of temporal abilities later on. I guess it makes sense. They are, you know, gravity worms are a temporal base. He's probably high enough level that he just picks it up. Makes me interesting though. I got that rascally rabbit. Another level completed. Try to teleport me. Kill him quickly before he does something. Interesting. A pyromancer uses a you know a frozen spear. Another one of these guys, uh, orc master assassin, unique. This time he's got shield ball. He's got total thuggery. Um. 
This guy looks to be kind of like a bulwark marauder. That's going to be interesting. And he used battle call. Hello. Do that. Do this. He stunned me. Get rid of that. What if we can drop this on him? Nope, that didn't work. Got that on him. Well, I guess he's not too strong. And then, of course, you know, he hits me like a, a truck. Um, this. This. Double heals there. I'm trying to hit a guy that's blocking. Let's not do that. Goodbye. Yeah, hit the Master Assassin that's blocking. I wonder what the end result will be in next turn after that. Ah, not much left to this level. Oh, that'll be fun. A Radiant Horror. I'll just kill these guys first. These, you know, stuff up here. Do that. And he's out of the way. Not sure I can beat him. Well, I, I actually probably can. I can beat him, but... Not sure I want to, you know, waste time. You know what, we're done with this level, let's just get out of here. There's no reason to mess around with him, now we don't have to. Let's just change my damage, not my defenses. And look at that, we've uh, more or less reached, you know, where I said we wanted to reach. So, at this point I managed to clear, like, you know, another 5 or maybe 6 fire poles it was, I'm not sure how many it was, I didn't really count. Next time, though, we'll uh, sort of finish this off, and then maybe I'll go to uh, kill those Ziggur Patrols and our stuff that I said I would do. So take care for now.